How do you deal with failure? <laughs> I mean, like, we all have them, right? So how, how is it for you? As a potter and a teacher of pottery, I um, have a saying that I just always come back to, which is really so simple. Pots break. Pots break. Does this mean uh, you don't put your heart and soul into it? No, you put your heart and soul into it and you make things that you love and you make them with love and then you give them over to the kiln gods and um, you let go. You have to let go because sometimes they come out beautiful and sometimes not so much and sometimes they break even before they get into the kiln. So pots break um, and it's part of the creative process. And what I've found over the years is that when you put your heart and soul into a piece and you love it and it breaks, then when you come back to that idea, if that idea is still alive and, and well and you really you still want to make it, you come back to it and you make it not that same piece, but the next one. You make the next one. It turns out you've learned something in the process. You've learned something about how to make it even more interesting and beautiful and whatever. So pots break and it's part of the process. I recently had um, <laughs> one of those catastrophes that is a serious failure. Um, my, uh, I loaded up a kiln with all sorts of stuff, sculpture, test tiles, pots, and my interns work as well. And uh, it was a breezy day and I tried to fire it. And at a certain point, there was a pop. I heard it from the house. It was probably a lot louder if it was closer. And I went out to the kiln and indeed, uh, it was really clear that there was a problem and I turned off the gas and I <sighs> took a deep breath and walked away because you can't, you, if there's gas still in the kiln, you gotta walk away and come back later. So I did and I came back and I cracked the door open and you'll see pictures of this on my blog. The first crack is like, oh, that's not good. And I opened it up later after it cooled a little bit and um, yeah, there was a explosion, a big explosion. Like the kiln itself is damaged. I've got to repair the kiln uh, roof. And I've lost kiln, uh, not only pots and sculptures, but also kiln shelves that are very expensive. So anyway, big catastrophe in my book. First time I've ever had the kiln explosion that I have talked to students about for years. Why did it happen? My mom asked, well, what happened? What, what, what happened? First thing I could come up with is user error. <laughs> yes, it was my fault. And she was like, no, don't, don't blame yourself. Don't be, don't be hard on yourself. I'm like, no, it's, it's okay. Pots break and there's lessons, there's lessons. And I need to deal with the fact that it was my fault. I need to take responsibility for it, but not to beat myself up, but rather so that I can learn. I was not focused well enough on that firing. And I should have recognized the first time that the burner um, got blown out, that it's not a good day for it. I have to wait until it's not a breezy day. Anyway, I have spent some time now um, sort of talking to different people and figuring out what what really happened in that kiln. What do I need to do both to repair it and also to ensure that I'm not having this problem again. So there's things to learn in this error. <laughs> and it's important not to beat yourself up. User error happens and it's a way to learn. Pots break and you can actually take that idea further in the next piece. You can uh, create an even better piece. So it's a gift. <laughs> Don't you hate that? It's a learning experience and it's a gift and the thing to do is learn 
and move on and register that the process involves pots break. Even when you put your heart and soul into it, even when it's like this piece that you really love, it can go wrong. And that doesn't mean stop and it doesn't mean you suck. It means you need something, you need to learn something and slow down and keep going, keep going. All right, Val Gilman, Taproot Arts and Insight. I hope this has been helpful.